So are you at your computer now, sir? And is it turned on? Um, is it plugged in? Yes, sir. Um, why do you need a flashlight? Oh, Mr. Smith, I think we found your problem. Uh, when the power to the neighborhood comes back on, you can go and turn your computer back on. Yes, sir, I understand, but the battery power is only good for about five to ten minutes. Yes, sir. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Smith. We'll talk to you later. Bye. So let me tell you, that's about the easiest type of call that I get. Computer support, desktop support, networking. I tell you, about 10% of my calls I get are simply re, uh, rebooting the machine. I'll tell you another secret. Simply going into the system configuration utility, MS Config, or the services, that's about 50% of my calls. It's not as difficult as most people think. And there are those that uh, you need a little training for. Can take a walk with me. So here are training to you. All of our instructors are certified in everything they teach. A Microsoft Office Master Instructor for Office 2000, uh, 2003, 2002, 97, 2007, as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer, a Certified Professional Instructor, a Certified Technical Trainer. But these are the things that are important for you. What's important to you is knowing that I'm also an A-plus Certified Professional Technician, a Microsoft Certified Desktop Support Technician, and a Network Plus, among other things. So here at the Computer Career Institute and training you, we can only talk the talk, but we walk the walk. Now, you don't have to have a whole wall full of certifications in order to do the job that you need to do. For example, my wall of shame. Instead, there's just a few things you do need to have. Let's take a look at the classroom and talk about that. Well, here's one of our technical training classes. You'll notice that everyone has at least one PC, sometimes two or three, depending on the class it is. Network Plus, we usually have about three PCs. Usually no more than about four to six students per class. Smaller classes, a lot more attention, a lot more detail. So basically, there are, as a computer support technician, or a CST, networking, desktop support, or server. And we'll talk about server another day. All of it begins with A+. Start here at the A+, which consists of two exams and two 40-hour classes, which we'll talk about in a minute. And you can go on the way to the Network Plus or to the MCDST for desktop support. At these points on, there are other ways you can go. But these are the three main ones we're going to talk about today. The first class is 40 hours, five days long, in the Essentials covering exam 220-601, the Essentials Exam. This covers just about everything you need to know as an IT pro. The second class, covering exam 220-602, is also 40 hours or 5 days long. You'll note the class materials for each overlap somewhat. On the exams, you may find about a 35% overlap, but this combination helps to solidify the concepts, helping not only to pass the exams, but get better scores and have more confidence when applying for IT positions. The Network Plus class, also 40 hours and 5 days long, covers the 2009 objectives. Many of the topics covered are the same as in the A+. In fact, you should have gone through the A+, courses before tackling the Network Plus course itself. However, like the IT Pro, the Network Plus topics go even further into the hardware, how it works, why it works, and what you need to do to troubleshoot and fix it, except there is less emphasis on the actual machines than now they fit into and function in a network environment. Instead, the focus is on the network. If you enjoy helping others or solving puzzles and problems that stump others, you may find your calling as a Microsoft Certified Desktop Support Technician, or MCDST. Like the A+, the MCDST certification is broken into two distinct exams, and each one has its own preparatory class. The first, Course 2261, is focused on the Windows XP OS and is three days long. The second course, 2262, focuses on the applications that come with Windows XP, as well as some Microsoft Office features and options. You will notice that the courses and the exams are completely different. 2261 delves deeper into the configuration, installation, troubleshooting, and management of the OS. 2262 
helps you understand many of the most common troubleshooting problems that users run into. The desktop support technician. This is, without a doubt, the most important position in a public company. You are the face of the company. You can make or break a company with your handling of customers. Good customer support can overcome poor technical performance, but generally, poor customer handling will end in a customer finding another company who cares about them, and you would never know it. It's been estimated that 94% of the people who have had a bad experience with a company never go back to it, and they never say anything to the company. They just avoid it. A customer service technician in desktop support will find themselves helping people remotely through the LAN, the internet, over the phone, or even desk side, showing users what went wrong and how they can do it correctly. Let's go ahead and listen to what some of our students are saying uh, about our program. Very helpful. Uh, got a lot of guidance from you. Um, informative. Very informative, yes. Okay. The education I was already receiving before wasn't very good at all. <laughs> very outdated. Actual hands-on work that I couldn't receive before in my prior learning. Good answer. A lot of more modern equipment, modern yeah. training. A lot of the equipment to work with. Uh, you show us a lot of uh, different commands and file pathings, computers that even exist. Yeah, a teacher has a lot of experience. It's able to help us out further than the book. Class seriously, that's about it. To come here, you know, kind of second guessing yourself, should be here. Suggest this class to anybody who's serious about learning about computers. There are a lot of various positions that you might hold as an IT technician, called many different things in many different areas. Let's take a look at some of those right now. The IT world is a world unto itself. Even though it's part of many different industries and different kinds of companies, there are a lot of different positions you could have as an IT technician. Name the different names, and as of this morning, I pulled up some of the jobs that are available here in the Phoenix area. Let's take a look at some of those positions, what they're called, and what they, uh, what they pay. Although IT growth is down from 2006, it's still higher than in the heydays of 2002 and 2003 and expected to go back up in the near future. You can see a direct correlation between the number of jobs available and the pay. Although computer support specialists have the lowest wages at about $22 an hour, there are almost 70% more positions available than network support. This can provide an excellent open to start from before moving into the higher wage brackets. Hourly, the computer support specialist earns about two-thirds of what network and system administrators make. Yet that comes out to over $46,000 for the computer support specialist per year. You can think of this as a career entry point, and you're beginning a brand new career, even your first or one of many. We're here to help you do it. We also have many students who come in and use this program to validate what they already know. Their companies send them to become certified to do the job they're actually already doing. You may be asking yourself, how do we get started? Very easy. Here's all you do. Call 602-266-1500. That's 602-266-1500. One of our helpful, friendly, and extremely knowledgeable counselors would be happy to help you. Is that okay? Yeah, how do you hang up? Speaker? Do have to pick it up? Okay, so one more time. Okay, let's just keep it running. Hey, Q. Yes, We're having some trouble with the server down here. Can you come take a look? Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I did not handle that. You have to talk to Ronnie. <laughs> one more time.